It's Friday, January 6th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. You know, I get so many questions about relationships, and uh, it's a really important subject that a lot of you have this on your mind these days. Some of you are coming out of a bad relationship, and you're trying to get on your feet again. Some of you are looking for a relationship for the first time, and you're looking for something healthy and something that will take you through the rest of your life. And we all want to to uh, to be connected with somebody that cares about us and loves us and can enhance everything that we have inside of us and to make us feel complete. Garrett is one of my Facebook friends. He says, I have a question. Why do so many women look on the outside of the body when they should look at what's inside and see your heart? It seems like women want a guy who has a high-paying job and has a perfect body. <laughs> you know, I usually get this question from women. Women feel the same way, Garrett. You know, I think we all feel penalized sometimes by our looks and because people don't take the time to see a little deeper. You know, there's a great story in the Bible in 1 Samuel 16, 7. Samuel, um, <clears throat> by the way, is, is called by God to anoint David as king. And he's giving Samuel instructions on who to look for. And he knows that Samuel will get it wrong if he just judges people by the way they look. And he says this, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Well, Garrett, I wish all of us were the Lord, <laughs> you know, in that respect, where we could just really see somebody's heart right away, but we can't. And the first thing that we judge by because of our human nature and the way God built us is how somebody looks. And everybody has someone they're attracted to. Those of you that are married, you probably remember the first time you saw your spouse, you were attracted to them. You're attracted to them physically, and for guys especially, you're usually attracted physically before you're attracted emotionally or spiritually. That's just the way it works. And no one gets married unless you're attracted to your spouse physically, so it's a good thing too. But what about those people that feel left out? Because they don't feel like they're the ones that are being sought after, like Garrett and so many of you. You know, you think, well, these people are just looking for someone with a, a perfect body and a high-paying job. And very honestly, if that's all that's on someone's mind, male or female, God bless you that they didn't choose you. You would have had a horrible marriage. If they're looking for money, what happens when the money dries up? If they're looking for a perfect body, you know, mine was a whole lot better than it is now. <laughs> I had a time when I was a lot thinner. You know, we don't stay the same. We marry somebody because there's a deeper prospect there. But we fall in love with, with what's on the outside first, and that is true. That's why people shouldn't get married quickly. Because beauty is fleeting, and if you're just attracted to the beauty and you get married during the romantic phase of a relationship, you don't really know the person very well. So Garrett, my prayer for you and for so many that are listening today with the same frustration is that you'll find somebody who takes the time to get to know you. Now, you also have to be available for that. If you're retreating from people, if you're not involved with communication and, and honest and, and uh, open discussions, then you really don't let people get to know you very well. And, you know, it... It is just not the case that one day, women, your knight in shining armor is going to ride up to your doorstep on his trusty horse and knock on your door and sweep you off your feet. And that is a fantasy. And for some guys, the fantasy is similar too. It's just not going to happen that way. You know, it really takes a little bit of time to get to know another person, to not only see what's on the outside, but to begin to see what's on the inside. Because we're not God in that respect. We can't do what God does. We can't look at the heart right away. It takes us a little time to see it. 
I hope that helps, Garrett. And I hope you put yourself out there a little more so that you can engage in honest conversations, so you can be the person you are in front of other people and allow just that right person to see you and respond. God bless you. Have a great day.